Hi friends, Yari here with Third Eye Yari, and I am a fun and safe psychic medium who helps people awaken. And we're gonna start today with um the spirit animal oracle for the current energy. And these are truly beautiful um drawings because they're not pictures, they're drawings of of the animals. Um, I think a lot of us, because I've seen other colleagues, other tower readers who who use this deck because it's truly very beautiful. I have a couple of other animal um, decks, but this is definitely one of my favorites. It's so diverse too. So thank you, Colleen for a beautiful deck um, and then we're gonna go to talking to heaven uh, for the unexpected This is the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle for what you need to hear. And this deck has been giving me incredible messages in the last couple days through me and through other people. Incredible messages. So. I really wanted to bring it in and then the good stuff whatever comes out is good and this is the Osho Sen <laughs> and and the tarot that we're gonna use is um, guardian angel messages I'm going to put all the cards down. I just realized looking at all the cards like that that the purple ones are the major arcana well that makes sense so all of them have a different color around the blue ones are the swords the red ones are the wands of course it's fire and the greenish ones are the cups 
Oh, we don't have any pentacles here. I just realized that. Let's see if we find a pentacle over here. I don't see any pentacles. Here. The the greener ones. Okay. Cool. I've been working with this deck for a long time. Never noticed that. All right. So let's go back to your reading. So current energy. Current energy. You have the beaver spirit. Not only the beaver spirit is card number six, which is the lover's car, right? Gemini. Um, lay a solid foundation. Okay. <sighs> lay a solid foundation. So this is this is the current energy. This is this is your focus. This is where you're thinking, where your mind is at. We need to lay a solid foundation with the lover's energy. And that doesn't mean that is a, a romantic relationship. It may be any kind of relationship, any kind of partnership. It can be in business, in family, um, at work. It can be in the community, any kind of partnership. But um, with with um, with a laying a laying a good foundation. That's excellent, excellent. All right. So we're coming from an empress energy, but empress in the in in the reverse. So we were not being the empress. We were not being creative. We were not feeling abundant. We were not taking action. We were just kind of stuck. Okay. So probably that's why we want to move forward with this. The, now we want to lay that solid foundation so we can move forward because we were feeling kind of stuck. A minute ago uh, and not creative just not <clears throat> not in our power but right now we're moving forward we're moving forward and I just have to say that we have one two three four five out of 12 cards five of them are major arcana so this is a very important reading okay I just have to say that very important reading because Major arcana are the big things in your life, okay? The minor arcana is just the little details, but the major arcana is the big stuff in your life, okay? So you are moving forward. You have, you do really want to lay that foundation. You have changed that mentality of lack. You have changed that mentality of, um, not feeling creative and you're starting to move forward and look at that 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 uh chariot that um it's 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 not only moving forward it's flying it's levitating and you have an angel driving it of course this is the the guardian angel messages tarot so of course there's a lot of angels but it's amazing amazing and those horses are not only horses, they look like, they look like, um, unicorns. Yeah. So willpower, victory, and recognition. Somebody is ever going to recognize your, um, the, the, the effort the effort that you're putting in is gonna it's I don't I don't feel only people are you know somebody is going to recognize you I think it's just gonna be so clear to everybody that crosses your path how much you have grown how much you're open now how much you have changed and and how much that change is allowing you to move forward in a positive beautiful way okay and then we have the Ten of Air, which in, you know, other depictions of tarot, it's like a very, um, 
almost scary. And Radley Valentine has done a really good job on trying to take the fear out of tarot. And he says it like that. I want to take the fear out of tarot. And he has done it with these beautiful decks. Um, you know, in the Rider White, you see a person lying on the floor with 10 swords on its back. Okay. This is a very different energy. Very, very different. So there is still ending. They're still ending, but this is a very powerful and very positive ending because it's something that you look forward to. It's something that you work for. It's something that is giving you a solid foundation so you can move forward in whatever is what you want to move forward. Because something needs to end for something else to begin. So that is beautiful. It says ending recovery and freedom. See, the the energy is completely different. It's still ending, but it's not that hard, painful ending from like where, where you have a bad breakup or any breakup, you know, any breakup, even when you know it's the right thing to do, can feel disconcerting and it can feel like a failure or when somebody passes, you know, that ending from their positive from their positive from their um physical is what i was trying to say the physical body the 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 you know the earthly body it it, it hurts the people that are left behind for sure so that's a very different much more uh loving and positive energy okay so the unexpected oh talking about people that have passed look at this I was met by so many loving people. And uh, of course, this is this is about you. So what was unexpected is all the people that were there to help you along the way. So for example, if this is a business that you are and you were just feeling kind of stuck, not that you were not moving forward, that you, you know, from this feeling of lack that we were talking before when you decided to change your your framework and what you were doing you found that there were so many people for there to help there to help you and that was unexpected to you okay that was the unexpected so you also this is also talking about the past when you were feeling um stock you 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 felt like the seven of water we have the seven of water and the seven of water is when you have all those cups it's the seven of cups if you have all those cups you know overflowing with all your dreams but out of reach out of reach so you were thinking too much you were pros procrastinating because you were stuck because you were not in the positive frame of mind that you are right now okay and that made you feel kind of stuck like you could see it you could see your dreams you could you you if you were starting a business you could almost touch it you were like if i could do this and this and that this will happen and then all my dreams will come true but you did not no, or couldn't at that time take that next step, but you have, okay? You have now. And now look how you're feeling from from procrastination, from procrastination and overthinking. Now you're feeling strong. Now you're feeling brave. Now you're feeling courageous. Now you're feeling compassionate. Now you're persevering. Now you're working tirelessly to make that dream come true. And you know, uh, the, the, the strength card way back when was the number 11. Now, when you buy Raider White or any other tarot, uh, it's a number eight. So it has changed with the justice card. Uh, so Radley has, has changed those again, which is fantastic because then strength become the number 11 and the number 11 is, is a master number. Not only that is, um, which is the master C, the master builder is also the number of Metatron, you know, 11, 11 is the number of Metatron and, and having an archangel working with you is the, be the best. Yes. Archangel. 
Archangel Michael is like, of course it is. It's the best thing working with an Archangel. Yes, Archangel, it is. <laughs> He's so funny. Um, and, <laughs> and you have here the the infinity sign, you know, so you're working tirelessly, you're strong, uh, endlessly. This is, this is just going to propel you into the future. And what this, um, infinity sign is telling me right now is that you're going to do one thing that is going to take you to another, to another, to another, to another, and that growth is going to be never ending. So whatever it is, and I'm feeling that this is about business more than anything else. And, and we've been getting a lot of, a lot of, um, readings like that. I, I think this is, um, if you're watching in real time, this is, um, late April in 2023, uh, we, we've had those, that all, all those donations and the eclipse, and it's all about abundance. It's all about action. It's all about that. So it's, it, you know, that's, that's what's happening, uh, astrologically for us. So that's what's, I am looking at at the in the in the readings, but of course you can change that to whatever your project is because you can have a project with your marriage, you can have a project with your family, you can have a project and a project like an actual project that you are doing something like renovating your house or building a cottage or working on a family vacation, you know. Um, overseas, or or you can have a project uh, to rebuild your relationships. To I don't know whatever whatever it is, you exchange whatever word I'm using to whatever um, you know relates to you because this is a, a general reading. So <clears throat> it's gonna be for a lot of people, and it's gonna be different for everybody. <coughs> mm, excuse me. So spirit gives me. Um, a, a specific theme for what what the most people are in the energy right now, but it you know it's gonna be for everybody. So you're gonna do one thing after the other after the other, and that energy of growing and growing and growing is gonna be never ending, which is fantastic. And then at the end, we have the page of air and the page of air, um, is the page of swords. Um, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a very analytical, outspoken, but truthful person. And it's in the reverse. But what tells me here is not that you're going to be lying to yourself. It's that you're going to stop overthinking which is a good thing. You're going to stop overthinking. You're going to, you know, analyze and think for whatever long amount of time you have to, and then you're going to stop. You're going to look at your choices. Okay, this is this is the plan. This is what we're going to do and put it aside and do it and not continue second guessing yourself and thinking and thinking and thinking, but we decided that, but what if that does, but what if, but, but, but no. You're going to stop that. Okay. Fantastic. And then in the energy of what do you need to hear? Archangel Michael. Yes, Archangel. Of course, I brought you in. It says, open up to your spiritual gifts. Yes. Of course. Of course. And I'm just looking at everything that's coming behind and it's all talking about awakening okay so you know it says it's also that uh, number 21 and if you follow me you know that i love the 12 and the 21 because it has the one which is the self it has the two which is the partnership and in this case the partnership with spirit and it together makes the number three, which is that energy that is created from that partnership, right? 
It says, remember that your true nature is spiritual, not physical. The angels are sending you messages to guide your soul's growth. Yes, that's what you need to hear. So, yeah, it's great that you're doing all of this in the 3D, but remember that you have a spiritual path that you need to continue and don't forget, okay? And then we have the moon. And the moon has that, you know, there's some things that are going to be revealed. There's some things that you don't know yet, but are going to be revealed to you. You're going to get some clarity, okay, about some things, about your intuition, about, you know, your dreams, about all those sensations that you have in your body and those, um, Thoughts that come up in your head seemingly out of nowhere, okay? And all those synchronicities that you see, the number, the sequential numbers, the, the repeating numbers that you see over and over and over again. Sometimes I, I had a, a few months ago uh, a, a bout with sevens, 27 and 7. So... I, I would see sevens everywhere. It was crazy. It was crazy. So, um, so yeah, you're gonna, you're going, all, all of that is going to be revealed to you. Okay. And then right now, this is the energy that you're on awakening, awakening. You know, and this is happening to a lot of us, a lot of us. That's why it's called the Great Awakening. Pause and perspective and selfless. So, you know, this is the hangman um, Gemini energy. And see how the time is laying on its side because he's supposed to be hanging, but when he's hanging, what he's doing is meditating, is is getting is going into that space of quiet, right? And being illuminated. Look, look at all the light around him. He's truly illuminated. So he's putting away time. You know, this is not about quantity. It's about quality. Okay. You can do fantastic meditations in five minutes better than somebody that's put in 40 minutes, 50 minutes, an hour and a half, two hours, three hours. That's ridiculous. I don't have time for that. Okay. So, um, time is not of the essence is the quality of that emotion of that state more than emotion of that state that you can put yourself into when you just quiet the mind and you don't have to meditate i say this all the time i love meditating but i know it's not for everybody people get antsy people get it's fine if you feel like that is fine but you have to find a space where you can be quiet with yourself so you can hear your own thoughts, okay? And that's where you are right now. And then we have the, the, the king of fire. And the king of fire is the king of wands. And it says inspirational, charismatic, and innovative. So you're going to be completely inspired by all of this. See how, you know, it's, it's sequential. It's, it goes in crescendo. You start opening up to the idea. You start opening up to knowing that you need to start walking on this spiritual path. Then some things are revealed. Then you are illuminated. And then you get you are inspirational. How about that? All right. And how about some good stuff? And it's 2444. Magnificent. Um, 
abundance. I'm telling you, I had the feeling this had something to do with business. And, but, but it's, it's, you know, I said business, but you know, really, so it's not love is what I'm trying to say. It's not love. It's not specifically a love relationship. Now it can be, you just need to change it to whatever it is. But I feel this is more like in general, your life in general. And what you're going to get is abundance. And you know that abundance is not only money. It's also health. It's also friendships. It's also happiness. It's also whatever is important for you. You know, you're going to be abundant. Abundant is having a home. Abundance is having place to something to eat. Abundance is being able to fall asleep safely on a bed and waking up happily about what you have around you, feeling blessed and feeling grateful for what you got. That's abundance. Now, you, you throw in a couple million dollars and I'm not going to, you know, say no. Yeah, of course. But abundance is more than money. But yeah, you can throw that in. I'll take it. <laughs> all right so to continue with the good stuff um you are you know you have the king of water here the king of water is the king of cups and this 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 guy if you meet this guy this is this this is uh, this is marriage material right because this person is compassionate. This person is understanding. This person is trustworthy. This person knows how to talk about their feelings and know how to get serious and go to work. You know, this is the kind of person that you want to, that you want by your side in any kind of relationship. You want somebody like that for your partner. You want somebody like that for in your family, in your friends, and in your coworkers. You know, somebody that can be loving and trustworthy, but, but pulls their weight, right? Yeah. So this is where you're coming from. Even though you feel stuck, this is you. You are compassionate, understanding, and trustworthy. So you're a marriage material. How about that? That's great. I am too. Although I'm already married. <laughs> Happily married, by the way. Um, and then we have the 10 of fire. Yeah. Even though you are probably because you are doing all of this, you are moving forward. You're feeling strong. You're being awakened. You are exhausted. So this is not something to tell you that you've done something wrong. No, because you're making all that money. See, you're making all that money. And you need to clean the kitchen. I need to go do that when I'm done here. Go clean the kitchen. Yes, I do. doesn't look like that. But, you know, I need to do some cleanup. Anyhow. So, you know, if you're tired, rest. Rest. Because you are not going to be able to do any of this. Any of this with any kind of quality if you are exhausted. So, if you are tired because you're doing all of this, take a rest. And then you can continue doing all of that. Okay? Look what they left for the end. Love. Love is in the air. Romantic, emotional, dramatic. Knight of water. Yep. The knight of cups is that filtratious you know, flirty, 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 flirty. If he was in the reverse, I would say, you know, that player kind of, but no. He's flirty in a good way. He's romantic. Yes. So maybe you're flirty, you're going to be flirting with other businesses, if that's what we're talking about. Maybe we're going to be playing or considering um, something else that goes beyond to what we've been talking about, to go, to expand that what we're talking about, another business, another job, having a baby and expanding our family, throwing a, a, 
a, a block party if we're talking about community, if that's what you're focusing on. But whatever it is, you are you are going to end up, after you do all of this, you're going to end up uh, feeling like you want to expand, feeling like you're going to try your hand because this has worked so well that I kind of want to try something else and taking it up a notch. That's the energy that I get with that. This has been really nice. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It was playful uh, at some points, but it was really clear, you know, in, in the path of each path of what the message from spirit is. And, and you know, spirit is always like that. Um, I don't know why I keep uh, getting surprised by it, but I do. And, and I and I hope I don't, don't change that because I think that's a good thing uh, that uh, spirit always surprises me with the magnificent messages that uh, it channels through me. I love it. Uh, so if you like all of this, please give me a, uh, a like, a thumbs up because that really helps anything that you do to interact with the reading, uh, it helps with a video. It helps a thumbs up, an emoji, a comment, uh, everything helps to tell, uh, to tell me that you have enjoyed the content and to tell YouTube that you want to see more of it. So they will promote this video more than, than others, um, which is great for me. All right. So thank you so much. Um, and with that, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.